Hey guys, happy Wednesday, happy Glitter Pit Day, happy Dawn Day. We are in the right spot. If you're here, it's three o'clock right on the nose. If you're late, get in here, hurry up. <laughs> All right, welcome everybody. Ready for another fun class today? I've got my, um, my promotion that's gonna start next month on March 1st. It's called the Online Exclusives. And I'm going to show you all the products that I got so you guys get a little heads up and a little sneak peek. And I'm going to be using them hopefully in a class next month. So hopefully you love it. I'm going to show you that here in a minute. But first, let's go ahead and do an early bird glitter spinner. I have some of the shimmer black embossing powder. Here's the thing. This is what it looks like. Yay. All right, so let me flip you guys over. Uh, let me see how I'm going to do this. Let's do this, right? Yeah, there we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this because it comes with this cardboard, but you can see it's never been opened, all right? So, but it's going to be easier for me to mail if I open this. I'll send the, instruction with, the instructions with it, but I also want to show you the sparkle because I can't really show you this in the package, but look at that sparkle in the, this is embossing powder, not glitter. This was in a, I think it was in a couple holiday catalogs ago. But then I think there was in time there was red also, but this is the black. And it is beautiful when you use it, okay? So then I'll also send the directions on what this is, all right? So you do need like the heat tool. And if you use the Versamark for the heat embossing, you guys know, right? So this is heat embossing powder in the black shimmer. Super nice. All right, so let's go ahead and do a, a spinner. Let me get my iPad over here. Can you guys hear me okay? Can you hear me now? <laughs> I got my mic plugged in, so hopefully everything's good. All right, so let's go ahead and turn on my comments. Right here. Everybody was in the early bird chat. I love being over there, but I can only be over there for so many minutes because I got to get my setup going on. So at least I wasn't running too late today. All right, so we're gonna do an early bird glitter spinner for the black embossing powder, the shimmer, all right? Look, I got brand new batteries and I took the black Sharpie and I circled the ones that I want to push. So I never mess up. <laughs> well, never say never, right? But I hope to never mess up. Because if I push the ones on either side, it's like a fax machine. And then there's, oh, they're just terrible. Noisy, noisy. All right, so this is for the early bird, early bird glitter spinner right here. It's going to go to Robin. Woo, woo. Go, Robin. Go, Robin. All right, Robin. Let me write your name on this post-it note. R-O-B-Y-N and then M. So, Robin, please email me here at dawn at the glitter pit .com. Email me there, Robin, and give me your address. I might already have it, but I'm just not knowing what your last name is. Just email me no matter what. Before the end of the live or as soon as the live is over, email me, all right? Email me there. Let me write on here that you're getting the black shimmer powder. Embossing powder. Okay. All right. And then we got to do the announcement for the glitter giveaway from last week. Right. Let me put this on here. All right. So we'll put that over there. All right. So let me show you the names of the winners from last week. Remember, you're going to leave a comment on my website starting tomorrow. And you'll get entered to win next week's stamp sets, which I have right here. Let me show you those really quick. This is actually a bundle, so you get the dies too. Now remember, I had a question from, I think it was last week or maybe the week before. These are stamps from my personal stash, so they might be gently used, but no matter what, I wouldn't give you a stamp set that you can't use in your crafting, all right? I'm throwing away the crappy, crappy ones that are like photopolymer, and you can tell they were very, very well loved. 
but the stamps have been used by myself. And I think I mention that every week, but we had somebody email me last week and say, hey, did you know the stamps that's used? Yes, I announce that every week that especially if it's if I know it's a stamp set that I've used, then I'm giving it away, all right? So these two stamp sets are fairly new though, I think, or maybe I just cleaned them up really good. This is the prize peony or peony, and it's a bundle. And then also the framed floral frames. This is, I think, a brand new one. And they're both red rubber, okay? So leave a comment on my website starting tomorrow for these stamp sets, all right? And my website is right here, dawnstampingthoughts.net. Leave a comment on my blog post titled Card Kit Class Number 20 Using the Silly Goose, okay? That will be posted about 7 o'clock in the morning. So leave a comment starting tomorrow through next Wednesday, all right? Now we're going to announce next or last week's winners, which I think I brought that over here. Hold on, let me look. Yeah, it's right here. All right, so let's do it. Oh my gosh, I can see this button so good now. <laughs> so much better. All right, here we go. The winners are Rosie and Elizabeth. Woo woo. Go Rosie. Go Elizabeth. You guys won the glitter giveaway from last week, which was, I think, the million, one in a million stamp and then the giant greetings or something. So I have them all addressed, ready to go out tomorrow morning as soon as I head out early tomorrow morning. All right. Yay. So thank you, everybody, for responding quickly with your addresses, especially if I know I don't have it. And then you guys email me back pretty quick. I love it. Okay. Yay. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Let's go ahead and flip this back over. All right. So here is the brand new host code for this week's card class number 20. Can you believe we're on card class number 20 already? It's flying by, isn't it? So this this is the host code. If you want today's card class, you can get it starting today through Saturday at midnight. Remember, this is for card class number 20, which looks like this. You're going to get the consumables. You're not getting the stamp set. You're not getting the dies. You're not getting any stamped images from myself. I cannot do that. This is a kit with the consumables. So you're going to get the cardstock, the envelopes, the designer paper, the accessories, everything you need to make the three cards we're going to make today. But you will need the stamp set. And if you don't have, let's say, the Silly Goose stamp set, you can use whatever stamp set you have, all right? This is just an added bonus for my customers that place orders with me. If they want the card kit, you have to use this host code starting today through Saturday, okay? And then the kits start going out. Well, I have some, I try to make some up ahead of time, but they start going out beginning of next week, all right? So, Use this host code, get the card kit. If your order is $150 or more, do not use the host code. You're going to automatically get the card kit and the tokens and a thank you note automatically. But just don't use the host code because you're um, you're going to get your own Stampin' Rewards from Stampin' Up. So that means you're going to get free money to spend on free stuff. But you don't get it when your order is $150 or more when you use the host code. So that's why we say do not use the host code when your order is $150 or more, okay? And then also your order must reach a minimum of $40 to get the kit. This is covering my shipping for the, the packages because it's like upwards of $6 sometimes, depending on where you live. I think it's to send it to like Washington State. Wait, 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 wait. I think it's close to $6 now. Postages keep going up. It sucks. And then also if you want to use the host code, but you don't want the card kit, this is a host code that I opened for the whole month, and then you'll get your, your gift, which is a small gift, mid to late March. Okay, so this host code is open for a few more weeks. Use this host code if you don't want the card kit, but you'd rather get a small little gift. Okay, and then if by chance, if you forget to add the host code, all you have to do is call Stampin' Up, and this is for either of the host codes. I still can't call Stampin' Up and add this host code, even if you forget it. So if you use either one of the host codes, you still got to call Stampin' Up and have them add the host code for your order. Okay? I still can't do that. 
It's not allowed. Stampin' Up! has to do that. And for me or any demonstrator to call, they kind of frown on that because it's been um, abused and passed. So it's just easier for the customer to call about their specific order to add the host code. Okay, so make sure you do that. And I will show you those host codes again at the end of the hour, all right? Also, the Just Stampin' Tutorials, I just sent out a batch this morning. Be checking your spam and your junk folder. Also, if you have Gmail, check that email folder called Promotions. This email sometimes goes there. This is an email that's coming from me, from dawn at theglitterpit.com. The email will be coming from this email address, okay? And it's my FSM Club email. This gives you all the promotions and then also a link to these four tutorials which are different every month. So this month we're using a card sketch. They're so cute. So be checking your email for that. Also, celebration is still going on. If you've been on the fence about joining, I would still love to have you join my team. What more can I say? <laughs> the starter kit is so awesome. Seriously, you have three choices. Remember, I go through this every week, but I'm just re, re uh, what do you say? Re-enter, re, -enter, re I'm just confirming. <laughs> I'm just confirming that you guys are hearing me on this star awesome starter kit. Because it is like the most awesome starter kit ever in Stampin' Up's history. I'm not kidding. It's like over the top awesome. So it's either the standard starter kit, which is $99, but you get to pick $175 with the product. And then there's two other options. One option is for the... Boho Blue Mini Stamp and Cut and Emboss Machine or the White Mini Stamp and Cut and Emboss Machine. Now, if you pick the Mini Stamp and Cut and Emboss Machine, doesn't matter which color, the white or the Boho Blue, the starter kit is $129 because you're bumping it up because of the die cut machine, but you still get to pick $175 with the product. So now, listen, I can't go through all the benefits of being a demonstrator with you right now online, but I would love to chat with you if you want to text me and set up a time when we can talk. I would love to set that time up. Just let me know. Reach out, text me, email me, whatever you got to do. Send me the message. We are down to the last couple weeks of celebration, and I would hate for you to miss out on this awesome starter kit promotion. And then also, everything is still, I believe... I believe everything is still available in the celebration brochure as well as the added 10 items that you can still pick from, all right? I think there was one item. Oh, no, it wasn't. I was thinking of something else for my team. We were talking about something totally different. So you get to pick anything. Now, this isn't just these items. I want to clarify that. You can pick anything for a $50 level or a $100 level, which is level one or level two from this brochure which has all the designer paper, the stamp sets. And then also you can pick your items from this added items from um, the more, what am I trying to say here? Celebration, Stampin' Up! added more celebration items to celebration. So they added 10 more items, but you can still pick from the brochure. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. So, and then remember, this is ending in a couple weeks. So please be checking all that out, all right? Now, this is what I want to share with you, the products, because I remember I had said I was waiting for my order to arrive, which it showed up that evening about 7 o'clock. So, but I have it here right next to me. So, if you guys want to see that, we're going to go through that here in a second. But this promotion starts on March 1st, all right? So, you're going to get all these items, plus they say there's going to be more. So, it says to see the products and more. Visit Stampin' Up! Online Exclusives on March 1st, okay? So I have everything on this page to show you what that looks like, up close and personal. So we're going to go through that here in a second. And then I also have the printable PDF, which has all the measurements and the supplies used on all three cards. Remember, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but this link is clickable. So if you click on any of the items listed on the PDF, now this is coming from any of your devices, your computer or your tablets or your cell phone. Um, this link will be active tomorrow morning on my website. If you click any of these links on the supplies, it will automatically go to my online store and add it to your cart if you want it, all right? So it has the measurements, the picture, and then everything else is clickable as well as the video which will be posted live tomorrow on my website, the replay of today's live. 
and then also to email me and then also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to do that. So you guys will be notified when I go live every Wednesday at three o'clock, all right? So these are the three cards we're making with this cute little Silly Goose stamp set. And the stamp set does not have any dies. So to complete the three cards, all you're gonna need with the card kit is just the stamp set, the Silly Goose stamp set. And also I wanna give you guys a reminder, this is one of those stamp sets that have um, two styles of the stamp set. You can get it in photopolymer, which is the clear, which is the version I'm using today, or you can get it in the cling, which is the red rubber. So there's two choices for this stamp set, the Silly Goose, and it's totally up to you which one you wanna pick when you order it, all right? The photopolymer or the cling mount, all right? So let's quickly go through the new items that will be available on March 1st. This is the Irresistible Bloom stamp set, gorgeous. And this one is red rubber see here but it does have the clean foam on the back and we don't sell the red rubber in the wood mount anymore so they are all working with the clear blocks okay so you can get the totally clear which is photopolymer or the red rubber but this stamp set I believe is only available in the red rubber but what's nice with this stamp set is because it's got awesome greetings and then the cute beautiful flowers and of course a splatter which I love and then also comes in a bundle, which the Irresistible Blooms dies. This is These are all the dies, that one. And then, of course, you got the flowers and the leaves. And then this really awesome die here, which you'll see in the pattern paper. It has that kind of decorative border there and the paper. So remember, these items you can purchase all individual or you can buy it like in one easy button, get it all. Or you can buy it just in a bundle or just the stamp set, vice versa. You can buy everything, you know, individually if you want. And then this was also available, the Classic Letters. It's an alphabet. This is photopolymer. And I love the way the stamp set is where you can put the alphabet onto the, the case. So you know that you don't lose them that way, right? So, but they are photopolymer, which is totally clear, which is awesome. So this stamp set will be available on the online exclusives. And then also these three sets of dies, you get all three in a package. So they're like $10 each for the embossing folders and they're 3D embossing folders. So they're really nice. Let me show you these. Let me see if I can put them on my sleeve so you can see the design of them. This is like a hash, like a, I wouldn't say like a hashtag, but it's kind of like, you know, that, Background, kind of like with the hashes. That's one of the three. And then this one looks like it's got blooms or even um, kind of like starfish or something. It's very pretty. I'd say flowers. Can you see it? And then there's this one, which I think we're all going to love. I know I'm a big fan of polka dots, but look at that. And they're almost like 3D polka dots. I love it. So you're going to get all three embossing folders in this collection for $30. So it breaks down to be $10 a piece. And then here's the paper. This paper, let me see here. Where's the name of the paper? I forget the name of the paper. I don't see my paper anywhere, but I did bring over two pieces of each. I believe there's 48 pieces of six by six. So this is one of the designs. They're double-sided. Okay. So I'm going to show you both of the both of the designs at the same time. So we can go through this pretty quickly. So you can see that design with the die, with the, the dots. And then this is the back side. So pretty. Oh no, that wasn't that one here. Hold on, that's the next one. <laughs> it was making me a liar, seriously. Then it's this one here. So pretty. Double-sided. Then there's this one here, double-sided. This one, it's like you're getting a whole pack of 12 by 12 with this paper, but they're cutting it in six by six. You know what I mean? Then this one. I love this one right here. Look at that with the white. 
Isn't that beautiful? Then that's the back side right here. So pretty. And then this one's too, a really pretty one with the splatter. Can you see that up close? Yeah. And that's the other side. Then there's that design again that matches the, the die. Ooh, I love that. Yeah, such pretty designer paper. We, I think we're all designer paper lovers. I know I am. Got lots of designer paper. I love the colors too. And this is where you can see the Lost Lagoon and the Pretty Peacock and the color scheme of the color combo of the paper. Love that splatter. Oh, that was the this one here, sorry. This one I didn't bring out too. That one, that one. <laughs> this one I brought out too, so whoopsie. So this one is the double-sided side. So there's the paper. And then there's also a 12 by 12 pack of paper that you can pick from. Now remember, here's my little tip when you're opening up your designer paper. Don't open it through this back side. You know how they usually, well, I have done this too in the past where you open it by the flap. Open it with your, take your pick tool and just cut it the very top. And then when you can, then you can use the sleeve to put the designer paper back into the, the pocket. You know what I mean? So you're not having a hard time struggling putting it back in there with that sticky part. So now this is one-sided designer paper, but you can see you get two pieces of each. This is the gold. It's got the foil. And it looks like this is the vanilla with the gold. Then this is the silver with the white. So pretty. And then there's copper with the white. Okay. So gorgeous. All right, so that is the suite so far that we know of as the demonstrator that we got to pre-order. Now, from what the flyer and the Stampin' Up! website says, that there's going to be more, so we're just going to have to stay tuned and see what more is coming. Okay? All right, so if, any, if anybody has any questions, let me know. Post them on the screen. Maybe one of my moderators can answer you. Or if I'm on here and I miss it, just repost it, and I can go back and look at it. All right? Yay! Yay, Renee! So glad you made it! Love Glitter Pit Day. Me too. I love it. All right. So do you guys want to see the cards we're making today? They're so cute. All right. So here's card number one. Let me take this off here. And the stamps too. Thank you, Cam. Okay. So this is the Silly Goose. I'll show you that stamp set here in a minute. In a minute. Now, I mentioned in the early bird chat, we're going to use a stamp set where you're not going to have the fussy cut or die cut because this stamp set is a standalone stamp set. There's no dies. It's just the stamp set. So, and then this card opens up like this. It's a birthday card. And then this one is a fun fold. This is the third card and is the fun flat fold card. Very cute. So, I will cut out the circle, but you will have to die cut your front of your designer paper and the base, or not the basic yellow, the Daffodil Delight. And I'll show you exactly how to do that, all right? Okay, so then there's your flap and then the card closed like that. And we're using all the Celebration designer paper today. We're using the um, Dainty Design, or Dainty Flowers, the Dandy Designs, and then the On Day at the Farm, I think it is, the designer paper. So lots of celebration paper this time, this week. All right, and here's the stamp set we're using, which is the Silly Goose. So cute. Looks like the um, Aflac, right? Aflac commercial. <laughs> and then the dies we're using are the all that. Now these dies, will I will die cut the shapes for you in your kit, which is for this oval, for the first card with the... What does that one say? I forget. It's for this oval right here. You've got a friend in me. So that will be in your kit. And then also the, the dies for the circles. You'll get the circles, the circle die cuts for that, each of the cards, all right, that you need. So all that will be included in your card kit. Yay. All right, so you guys ready? Let's stamp. Let me see. Let me go through the comments here really quick. 
I still have a bunch of wood block sets. Me too. I think all of us do. We definitely do. But what's nice nowadays, you know how things improve with age. Stampin' Up! is now using the DVD cases for the clear and the cling. And what helps is that the wood, the wood blocks are no longer available, but plus we're not using the big bulky cases for the wood blocks. So it makes it for really nice slim, slim line storage in your cabinets or however you store your stamps. It just makes it a little bit easier for space on your, um, the cling or the photopolymer stamps. All right. Does paper pumpkin count towards celebration only if you purchase it in like the subscription or if you purchase one month i believe you can add that to your online order with just the the um item number which i have listed down below in the description box i believe it's there it's like one three something one three five i believe for paper pumpkin but really the best way to use it is when you buy a subscription. So you can get three, six, or 12 month subscription to Paper Pumpkin. And when you purchase it that way, you can get celebration rewards, okay? So now you can also add just one month of Paper Pumpkin. And I think it's $21. I don't know how much that is on an online order. But I, I wanna say it's $21. It might be $21.95, but then you would add that you know, to bump it up to the $50 for your celebration, um, your celebration item. Hopefully that helped you. The purple is beautiful. Thank you. You have the farm DSP. Awesome. Hi, Norelda. How are you doing? Norelda just had back surgery. You poor thing. Yes, the wood is a lot heavier for a stamp set, isn't it? I do have some favorites, though, still listed in my for my wood mounts. All right, so let's go ahead and get our first card. I'm going to show you everything you're going to need. Let me get my box. I'm trying to do better organizing for my class with you guys so it's not so messy. All right, so let me show you everything you're going to get in your kit. Also, you're going to get the regular white envelopes for mailing. You can still mail with the clear but I use these for my product that I cut out and have ready for the class. So, but you will get an envelope for every card that you get in your kit. And we're using the Fresh Freesia. Oh, you know what? My PDF is right over here somewhere. Right here. Let me get that. Because I need the measurements. All right. Put this on my board. <laughs> All right, so your Fresh Freesia, your base is cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Then your basic white, which is cut at four by five and a quarter. Let me get my bone holder here. Remember, we're finger pressing the cards to put them in the envelope, so you'll need your bone folder to reinforce those score lines. And then we're using the Dandy Designs designer paper. This is cut at three, four, three and a quarter, sorry three and a quarter by three and a half. And then this is the Dainty Flowers. You guys know this paper. This is a celebration item. This piece is cut at one and three fourths by five and a quarter. And then you're gonna get all your circles and your oval. These are from the layering circle dies, the Fresh Freesia and this basic white. This is gonna layer onto that. And then you're also going to get this circle, which is from the stylish shape circle. It has a little stitch around it right here. And then you're also going to get your oval from all that. I think it is. Yeah, all that dies. So we're going to stamp on this circle and this oval. And then we're going to put our card together. So let me go ahead and grab my stamps and my ink. Now we're also using the hair pizzazz for the grass for the other two cards. So, but we're not gonna use that because this one is using the one that's floating around with an inner tube in the water. <laughs> She's so cute. This is the one that you got a friend in me and it's got a little tiny frog. You can probably see it better on the card here. Let me show you. Can you see the frog? <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, so remember this stamp set comes in the 
cling and the photopolymer. So the photopolymer is nice because you can see right where you're stamping. Okay. And then you can count, or you've, you've got a friend in me. That's going to be stamped on the oval. Right there. Okay. Now we're going to color this. Let me show you what I used for mine. I used the balmy blue for the water, the gray granite for the goose, and then I'm using, I think I'm using the, the dark pale papaya for the hat, granny apple green for the frog, oh, and then fresh freesia for the flowers and the inner tube. Fresh freesia, dark and light. Okay, so let's go ahead and color in. Let me zoom in here. Let me see if I can zoom in. I think that's better, right? I think that's good. All right, so we're going to take the gray granite. I'm going to use the bullet point. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to outline the goose. Not really much coloring for her. Plus, when you outline anything that you want white, like a snowman or this goose, if you outline it, it will be more of like what you're trying to reach for the white. I like to use the pool party too, but I figured I'd go with the gray granite today. And I'm going to color in the water with the balmy blue. Just following the waves on the image. And then let's see here, we're going to color in her little bonnet with the uh, pale papaya dark. I know I feel like we've been having so much spring weather lately. I'm almost like afraid to even think of winter. I mean, but it is still winter out. But man, it is like breezy out there here in Michigan. Holy moly. It is windy as all get out. But it's gorgeous. I think my phone said it was like 52 out, which is nice for winter, you know. So what I'm doing is I colored in the flowers with the Fresh Freesia Light. And then I'm going to take the Granny Apple Green and color in the leaves. And then I'm going to color in the frog. So something amazing lap happened last week. Want me to share with you guys what I did? <laughs> it's something so goofy. I'm able to drink black coffee now. I know. I even tell Richard when I'm drinking it, I'm like, I can't believe I'm drinking black coffee. But I do put my collagen in it. But still, never in a million years would I think that I could drink black coffee. Ever. All right, now I'm going to color in my little inner tube. I'm going to take the Fresh Freesia Light first. Then I don't have to be, you know, too careful around my polka dots. Because I'm going to go back with the dark and color in my polka dots. So who drinks black coffee? Well, we have an espresso machine. I would tell you my favorite flavor, but Richard knows because he orders it for me. But um, it was my favorite even when I would add like almond milk or whatever. But I don't know. It starts with the C. And it only does, it's a double, double espresso. I do know that. But see, the trick is, is that I add a lot of water because it's a double shot of espresso. But then I add like three fourths of the cup with water. So it kind of dilutes it, but man, it still tastes so good. Oh, and then I got a color in her beak with daffodil. Did I tell you guys I'm using daffodil too? Daffodil Delight for the beak. Okay. There she is, all in her floating glory. <laughs> Isn't she cute? And the frog, so cute. All right, now we're just going to add our circle here. Let me zoom back out. Like that, right? Am I out? Yeah. 
Zip that up there like that. All right. Oh, so this Saturday we're going out to dinner with our friends. Yeah, there we go. And then next Saturday I'm having a class at my house for my local girls. It's just a small group of us, but we're going to get together. We're going to do some stamping. And I got to clean up my office or my... Pff, I definitely got to be cleaning up my stuff out here. Because if not, there's no way we're going to be able to stamp. So this one's going to go on your scallop. And then this one is just going to go right on this larger wisp... Or basic, not whisper, basic white. And it's just going to be a slight little white edge to your circle and then it's just a matter of decorating your card I'm gonna put my three and a quarter by three and a half inch piece down first I'm just gonna put that right in the center and then take your um, what is this one and three fourths by five and a quarter inch piece and put that right down the center too going vertical Okay, and then we're going to pop this up on dimensionals. First card usually always the easiest, but it's still just as cute nonetheless, right? Going to pop up our little floater here. Put that right in the center towards the top. And then you've got a friend in me, which is cute for anybody, right? Birthday, thinking of you. And then this is going to go right below the circle. Okay, and then we're going to put this onto your Fresh Freesia base. Making sure the card's opening up right, in the right direction. Okay, there's your first card. Adorable. So cute. All right, card number one is completed now let's move on to card number two remember the pdf is listed down below so you can print that off all right let's go ahead and get our pieces for card number two which is right over here all right now this one we're using this stamp set best day which I want to do a class on this one too, even though this one doesn't have a die, but I'm sure we can figure something out, right? Because this stamp set is really cute with the cat and the birthday cake. So now I'm really debating on what class to do next week. We still have so many items to use. I don't know. I want to use them all. Really, I do. Oh, I'm really thinking the Rain or Shine bundle maybe next week. And then... Maybe this one, the best day. I know I'm going to be doing the motorcycle one. You guys got to be patient with me. I want to use that one most of all. But I'm trying to get through like, I don't know what I'm trying to get through. All right. So this is the stamp set, best day. Very cute stamp set. This is in the mini catalog as well. So here's our pieces. We're using the pale papaya. This is cut at four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. We're going to do some cutting on this card. Then your basic white, which is cut at four by five and a quarter. That's going to be for the inside. Then a piece of basic white. This piece right here is cut at two and three fourths by four. And then a piece of, now this is the Dandy Designs designer paper. All of these pieces are right here. They're just different designs. This one is designer paper. Can you see the decorative? That's going to go at the very top of our card. So this piece is cut at two and a quarter. Yeah, two and a quarter by four. And then this piece is for the inside. This is cut at one and a quarter by... No, that's not right. One and a quarter by four for the inside. This piece is cut at one and a quarter by two and three quarter. Yeah, that was right. This one is two and a quarter by four for the top. This one is cut at one and a quarter by two and three quarter for the top of this piece here. And then you're going to have a scrap piece to 
cut out and stamp the happy birthday. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our trimmer. Move this these pieces over here. All right, so now this is what you're gonna have to do with your base of your pale papaya. So this is your four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. So you're just gonna take one of your ends and you're gonna cut it at three inches. Oh, my trimmer. Where's my trimmer? Hold on, I got my little trimmer here. I'll use this one, hold on. I don't have my cutting blade in here. Where did it go? I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna cut three inches. I would have done this already. We're gonna cut this at three inches. Remember, this was the paper trimmer that we got for celebration when you signed up. I think this has been a couple years now. So cutting one of the ends at three inches. Okay, and you're gonna keep this piece. This is gonna go on the front of your card. Good thing I had that little trimmer there. All right, so now let's get our basic white piece for stamping and our memento ink. Now you're gonna use your pear pizzazz for the grass. I need to find the grass, there it is. All right, so this one is gonna be a birthday card. We're gonna stamp the little goose with the balloon on this one. We're gonna stamp the, this is the two and a quarter by four piece of basic white. You're gonna stamp it so it's going vertical. You're gonna stamp the little goose down at the edge. You can also take your piece here and just put it at the top. Don't adhere it down until after you've stamped because if you mess up, you can still flip it over. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so that's just giving you a guide on where to stamp. So I'm gonna stamp my goose right about there. And then if you stamp it right, which that looks pretty good, then you're gonna take your grass, which is right over here. This is a little tiny grass image. Now what I did for mine, oh, don't stamp it in the black. This is the pear pizzazz. I think I'm done with that for right now. We still need it though for the birthday stuff, but we're gonna stamp the grass. And what I did for that is I stamped it full ink and then I just stamped it over like second generation stamping. So I'm gonna stamp this all across the bottom of that um, piece of basic white, just like that, okay? Can you see the grass there? Yeah, just like that. Okay, so stamp it full ink and then just move it over a little bit and stamp it the second generation without inking it up again. And then we're gonna stamp the happy birthday, which is gonna be on your scrap piece of basic white. And that's from the best day. We're gonna do the stamp surgery again. You guys know I like doing that. So stamp that. Happy birthday. Oh, and then we're gonna stamp our greeting in here. Once again, we're gonna take our inside piece and kind of put that at the bottom, right? And then we can line that up on where to stamp our birthday greeting because we want that right in the center. Making sure I'm stamping this right here. Yeah, it's the best day because it's your birthday. So add, kind of like, just lay it there and then you can get an, a, an idea of where you wanna stamp it in the center of that basic white here. Because if you don't, you might stamp it too low and then it will be like, I don't know, it just won't be proportioned right when you add the paper here. But I'm not adding it until I've stamped it because I might have to flip it over. There we go, that looks better, okay? Because, see, yeah, it's really actually stamping it kind of high before I add the designer paper. Then that one and a quarter down there kind of balances it out. Do you guys know what I mean? All right, I think that's all the stamping for that. Now, put all those away. I'm putting them in my bucket. Can you hear me dropping them in? <laughs> All right, this one is not very many colors to use. We're gonna use the gray granite again, the light for the goose, the daffodil delight for the beak, the beak, and then the 
pale papaya for his feet and the balloon, right? So let's go ahead and do you guys want me to zoom in? I do have one colored, but we have some time. If you guys want to, well, you guys want me to color this in with you guys, right? All right, so gray granite light. Once again, we're just going to outline, or I'm coloring inside of the lines, actually. Just a little bit. This one. Okay. Oh, wait. Let me do the beak up here a little bit. There we go. Okay. Then we're going to take our daffodil. Going to color in the beak. And then the pale papaya and the light for his feet down here. We're going to use the, for the party hat, I'm going to color in with both the pale papaya light and the dark. And I'm going to color in the balloon. I'm just going to circle around the balloon, leaving a little center right there. I'm going to color in the little balloon at the top. And then I'm going to color the stripes on his hat. And take the light. And color in the light section of the balloon. And color in the rest of his hat. Very cute. And then we can add our designer paper to the top of that section. Right there. Let me zoom back out. There we go. Okay. Then this is going to get attached to the base or the pale papaya that we cut off the front. But before we do that, we're going to tie a ribbon around our layer here. And I'm just going to tie it in a knot like a fake bow, kind of. Just to kind of add a little 3D element here. Let me put this over. And then I was thinking of like blending that designer paper in so it's not such a harsh line on that basic white layer there. Tie the knot. Like this. Get my scissors. Okay, so you can move that down to cover up that line with the designer paper right there. So it kind of, I don't know, softens it a little bit. And then you're going to put this onto that pale papaya three by four and a quarter inch piece right here. Just like that. And then we're going to put our designer paper on the inside piece of the basic white at the bottom. Or you can put it at the top, but the bottom section will show out the front. If your designer paper is cut a little bit longer, all you have to do is just flip it over and trim it to fit. And then we're going to put this onto the inside of our card. Hold on, let me fix my grid paper here. I do have some adhesive on here, but you wouldn't know it, would you? Okay, there we go. All right, let's put this down on the inside of our card. And then your flap, you're going to put your other piece of designer paper up at the top. You could decide whatever side you want facing out. I like this side. But the other side will look cute too if you wanted to use that. Okay. And then 
this is going to go on to the flap right here. And we're only going to put adhesive at the top edge. Because remember, the bottom section is what's going to flip up. So only along the top edge on the back. And then kind of center that. Okay, and then we're going to take our birthday greeting here. And do a little surgery on the greeting. So we're going to split the happy birthday up. You guys know I like doing that. So I'm going to first trim out the happy birthday. And then this one's a really easy one to do. Just cut it right in half with the happy and the birthday. Just make sure you track where it goes. Because it goes flying everywhere. All right, and then we're going to need mini dimensionals. And then that's going to go on the side over here next to the goose. So we got happy. Don't press it down too permanent yet because we want to make it make sure it fits on there cute. So happy birthday. Let me bring this one down a little bit. Yeah, right there looks good. So happy birthday. It's your it's the best day because it's your birthday. Isn't that cute? And of course, if you have glitter or the Wink of Stella, I do have some Wink of Stella somewhere. Let me see where did I put it right here. If you guys have some Wink of Stella, you can color in your little goose. Remember when you guys first get your Wink of Stella, when you twist off your lid? There's going to be a black ring on here. You have to take that off, and then you should be able to slide this on. And then that little pokey thing, can you see that little black thing in there? That's going to puncture the Wink of Stella tube right here, where all your liquid is. But you got to remove that black ring in order to have that go all the way down to puncture that. And then once you get that screwed back on, shake it really good for the inside of the liquid, the shimmer, and then squeeze it onto a piece of scrap paper just to bring all the liquid to the brush tip. And then you can paint your little goose if you want. Which I'm going to do that with this one. Isn't that cute? You can't see all the shimmer, but trust me, it's there. Let me do the balloon too, just a little edge of it. Very cute. And of course you can add glitter too if you want, but that's card number two. So cute. So far so good, right? Do you like it when it's just a stamp set? Or do you like it, you know, the bundle? Or do you like seeing it done with um, card ideas that are just using the stamp set without the dies or a punch? Because like that Best Day stamp set, this one doesn't have a die or a punch either. So it would be simple cards like this too. Hey, we need a variety of cards, whether they're birthday cards or whatever. But I'm just curious on what you think. Do you like this kind of stamping better? Or do you like the fun folds? What do you guys like? Let me know. Yeah, this one hasn't got the Wink of Stella. That's my version there. All right. All right, card number three. Let's get that out. Moving right along, right? Yes. All right, let me throw that away. Ugh. All right, card number three is in the box down here. All right, card number three. We got the goose with the thanks. And you will be getting one of the cute little daisies in your kit. These are really, really tiny. Please be careful when you remove the card from your envelope because it is inside. I tried to add the daisy right in the center of the score line of your base of your daffodil. So you're going to get a daffodil or a yellow daisy in your card number three. Okay, so be looking for that. And I double check, triple check to make sure all the cards had the daisies. So just be careful when you pull it out. Okay. All right. Let me show you the measurements first because I'm going to put this one together to show you how you're going to do it. You're going to get your daffodil cardstock. 
This is cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Then your, your, um, let me change my paper out here. Hold on one moment, please. All right, so your, your daffodil, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at five, four and a quarter. Then your day at the farm designer paper is cut at four by five and a quarter. That's going to go on the front. And then your basic white is going to be for the inside. This piece is also cut at four by five and a quarter. Then your day at the farm, it's still the same paper. This is cut at one and a half by five and you're scored at four and a quarter. Okay. And that will be done for you. And then you'll have your circles, which are the layering circle dies. And then also a scrap for stamping the thanks. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and cut out our circle. I've already done it, but I'm going to show you what you're going to do. So you will need the layering circle dies to cut your front, or you can use whatever you have, but the circles will work with the layering circle die that you're going to get in the kit, these two circles. Okay, so, but once you cut out the front of your card, if you're using a square or an oval, you will also have to cut out the, the basic white in that, um, and that die collection too, because these are for the circles. So I'm assuming you're going to use the circles like I did for my card, but I'm not going to cut the front of your card out because I'm going to have to attach the paper and all that, and I'm not doing that, okay? So what you're going to do, now this is a little tip. So when you're cutting out any, any of your um, cards with the base and the designer paper, put your adhesive only on the edges of your four sides. Because then that way, you can reuse your yellow piece that's going to be cut from the center. Okay, so you're going to add your, remember you put adhesive only on the sides. And then put this on to the front of your card in the center. Okay, and then you're going to grab your layering circle die. Let me show you the measurement here of that one. I've already cut one out. And what you're going to do is you're going to use this circle here and this circle is cut the wait let me cut this let me measure the circle instead okay so the circle measures about two and seven eighths it's not i don't think this is the largest circle in the die collection i think it might be the next size down okay so but when you cut out your circle so you're going to layer your circle right in the center of your card of your base and the designer paper, layering it right there, and then send that through your die cut machine. And then if you did your designer paper right on your, um, you know, your adhesive, you can reuse this cardstock. Even though I believe I cut out the daffodil for you to reuse, I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Or I will. <laughs> so, but I'm just saying that if you want to make multiples of these, you wouldn't have to cut out the yellow then because you're already cutting it out with the designer paper here. You're just going to reuse it. Okay. And then your white piece that will be in your kit will layer right onto that to stamp your goose. Okay. But I'm pretty sure that this will be in your kit, the daffodil piece. Okay. So that's why you would want to cut it or put it on your base if you want to reuse the circle. Okay. So now I got one already cut out. So this is what it looks like. I guess I didn't punch that out all the way. So here's your circle. So let's move that one aside. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and stamp our greeting on the inside. And this one is sending a big honkin' thanks. And that's exactly what it says. <laughs> For the goose, you know, honk, honk, honk. You know, they walk around doing that. So what we're going to do is we're going to stamp this right in the center. Sending a big honkin' thanks. And then I'm going to take my liquid glue. And I'm going to put a little dab of glue. And you just need a little tiny bit. Oh, that's too much. Hold on. Gotta get that off there. Just a little tiny dab of glue. And then you're gonna take your daisy that's in your kit. Let me find my, there it 
they are. You can take your little daisy. There's white and yellow. You guys are getting a yellow in your kit. And then my my thoughts here. The easiest way to pick up your daisy is with your take your pick tool. I need some more of the putty. Then just pick up your daisy. There's different sizes in there. And then set that in the glue. Right with the greeting on the inside of your card, all right? So you're gonna set that aside. Then we're gonna take our white piece of the circle. We're gonna stamp our goose on that. All right, now it shows that I have low battery. Let me plug in my external battery. Might be a little clunky noise here. Hold on, one more. Let me unplug my phone. Let's bring this over here because we just got a little bit longer to go. One moment, please. Where's the plug at? There we go. Sorry, it's just a little noisy. All right, so we're gonna take our goose here that says thanks. He's holding the banner. This one fits on the circle perfectly. Stamp that right in the center. Now this is optional. You will be die or cutting out, fussy cutting on your piece of scrap that you have. You just wanna cut out the banner. So we're just gonna stamp and cut out the word thanks there with the banner. Cut his head off and his feet. <laughs> and then we're gonna bring in the pure pizzazz again, the classic ink and stamp some more grass at the bottom of his feet there. Do the same thing that we did before so i'm going to stamp full ink and pick it up and move it over i'm just going to fill in this whole bottom section of the grass okay so it should look like that okay very cute this one's really super easy to color in as well so we're just going to use the we're going to use the balmy blue for the thanks over here on this one. Then again, the gray granite and the peel papaya dark for his feet and the daffodil for his beak. So we're just going to color in goose. Now when I cut out the sign, I am cutting his fingers that are holding the sign. So make sure you color his fingers or whatever you're calling them, his wings or I don't know what you call them. Color them on the sign when you cut it out. Okay, so outline it the goose and then also do his little fingers that are holding the sign. We're going to cut those out. And then the daffodil for his beak. And then the pale papaya uh, for his feet. So cute. We used all the goose or the geese in the set. Oh, wait, let's color this out first. We're going to color the thanks with the balmy blue light. Kind of bringing in the whole designer paper with the blue that we used for that from on the farm. Okay, so I'm just going to go back over this with the lighter balmy blue on the edge and the bottom. Just add like a little shadow around that. Let me show you. Okay, so there's the thanks, the balmy blue. Now we're gonna cut this out with our paper snips. Remember, we're cutting out the two fingers that are holding the sign. This gives a little dimension to the goose on the front, but it's pretty easy to cut out. I'm following the line exactly, or at least trying to get it right on the line.
Can't believe celebration's almost over. Okay, so there's my thanks. Now you can see where I'm talking about like his fingers or whatever are holding on there. <laughs> I don't know what you call them. I'm gonna use the dimensionals. Put two dimensionals on there. And this is going to go right over top of the stamped goose like that. Okay, so you can see that it's like dimensionalized back there. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put our card together. So we're going to put our basic white piece on the inside because I want to line up my banner that's going to flap over the card to keep the card closed. I want to use this part as a guide. So you're going to put this on the inside the card. Okay, now my banner here, my flag, or the one and a half by five scored at four and a quarter. Oh, no, this has got to go on the back side of that. Sorry. Hold on. i got to lift that up really quick. I almost forgot. If I can't get it lifted up, I'll just put it on the back side here. Let me put this on the back side over here. I'm going to put this banner... This four and a quarter inch score line right here is going to tuck behind the basic white, but we're going to take our paper snips and we're going to flag the end. And if you need to cut it more after you put the card together, which you might because it might overhang too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up so this flag goes right over top of that greeting, but yet it's going to fit inside of that cutout. Stick into everything here. Hold on. Yeah, do this before you put the card down on the inside. I forgot. It's much easier if you don't forget. Hold on, I gotta lift it up a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna put that right on that score line right there. So the idea is that it's gonna cover up that greeting right there, right? And then the, the banner is going to go inside of the hole. But yeah, that looks pretty good because when I said that you might have to cut this down a little bit more is because if it overhangs on this edge, it won't fit into a regular size envelope. So just take particular notice on where your, your banner ends right here because if you do need to cut it down a little bit more, you can, you know. Okay, so then we're going to take our circle with the daffodil and our little goose these two pieces together. Remember, this is your daffodil you're going to cut from the base. I don't remember if I cut them for the card or not. I'll have to look. And then this is going to go on to your banner right here. So we're just going to close up the card and they're going to put adhesive right in the center. And then this with the being the same cutout of your die that you're going to cut the shape out when you get your base should fit in there. Tear that down, and then that's going to slide through that window, and then it opens up like that. Isn't that cute? That's it! Let's put some Winka Stella on this one, too. I'm thinking I'm kind of digging the Winka Stella on the goose. You know? Yeah. So cute! There's your flat fold card. Then this slides into the front and then it holds it shut. So cute. Still sits up really cute. And then you got your cute little daisy in there. <laughs> Just a little something something to add in there. You know? Those aren't back order for another few days, I think, until the 17th. But you get a lot of those in your kit. Or in the... Let me see how these in here. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see how many is in here. There is 750 pieces of your daisies. There's a lot. So you're getting white and the yellow. Very cute. All right, so let's bring in the cards again. Don't want to lose my dies. Remember, these are the envelopes you're going to get in your card or your card kit. So they fit in there perfectly. Okay. So there's card number three. 
card number two, and then card number one. See, we didn't even cut anything out except for the banner. That's awesome, right? Do you like it? Do you love it? You want more of it? <laughs> All right, let me go through the comments really quick. I mean, where's my stylist at? Hold on. My stylist, my stylist moves the comments for me. All right, let's see. That is so terrible. They took your craft supply. Okay, I'm getting in a conversation that I don't know what that is, but that is terrible. Can't choose a favorite. You love them all, Brenda says. Thank you, Brenda. Let me scroll up to the somewhat to the top, see if I missed any questions you guys might have posted. Uh, I love this card. Thank you, Meredith. So adorable. Goose is so sweet. Love the fold and the daisy. Thank you, Laura. Sometimes we need easy cards, right? But they're just cute as can be. Simple, easy. And two of them are still a fun fold. I don't think I could do a class without at least one fun fold. Because that is my love. I love doing fun folds. You guys are just, you're stuck with me doing fun folds with the card classes. Sorry. But I wanted something where we didn't have to cut out the the goose on all the cards. So this worked out really, really good. <laughs> Thank you, Marilyn. Uh, thank you, Norelda. All right, I don't see any questions. You guys have any questions? Three, three cards are so cute. Thank you, Kathy. All right, so let me go ahead and you guys ready to do a glitter spinner? I did get two happy nails. Do you guys wanna see them really quick too? All right, so let's do, um, I got two items over here for a glitter spinner and then I'll give you one of the cards. You guys, whoever wins the card, you can pick which one you want, all right? Cause I still got lots of birthday cards I gotta do, all right? So I can't give all the cards out, I'm sorry. I need all the birthday cards I can get. Not kidding. All right, let me get my two gifts over here. I've got the iridescent pearls and, hold on, let me grab this over here. All right, so I got these artistry bloom adhesive back sequins. I'm gonna take the hard plastic off. This is hard plastic. Let me show you what you're gonna get. I hate opening this, but man, I'm telling you, I can put these into a regular size envelope and if I don't, I gotta put this into a bubble wrapper or envelope, bubble envelope, and it's gonna cost me over 350. So a regular postage stamp for these, these are so pretty, or 350 for that, so that's gone. So whoever wins the sequins, I'm just gonna mail you the sequins like that, all right? Okay, let's do it. My iPad over here, whoa. All right, I forget my my external battery chargers hooked up to everything all right so you guys ready let's get my spinner let's do the card first whoever wins the card you guys let me know which one you want all right spinning spinning right here norelda yay Norelda, you won the card. Let me get a post-it note up on here. So N-O-R-E-L-D-A-G-R-A-H-M-A-M. -A -A All right, which card do you want, Norelda? Card number one, two, or three. Let me put them up here so you can see. I know it's a hard decision, but somebody's got to do it. So one, two, or three, Norelda, which one do you want? Door number one. Door number two or door number three? <laughs> Let me know. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and spin for these other gifts, but Norelda gets to pick which card she wants. I'm just going to put it on that one for right now, but you don't have to pick that one if you don't want it. All right, let's do the pearls. 
right now. Oh my gosh, did you guys see how good this is for my eyes? I can just push it right there. And having new batteries is awesome. And it only takes three batteries. I thought for some reason it took like four or five, but it only takes three batteries. I mean, still, three batteries is still a lot, but it's not as bad as six. You know what I mean? All right. I also have an announcement to make at the end of the hour, so don't go nowhere. Right here. Who's that? Deborah! Deborah, I don't think you've ever won, have you? Your name doesn't sound familiar. D-E-B-O-R-A-H and then M-O-R-K-U-N-A-S. You get the pearls, Deborah. So remember, you're going to have to email me here. Dawn at the glitter pit dot com. That's the jingle. Even if you have to sing it to write it, you can do that. Nobody's watching. Nobody's listening. It's all right. No judging. No judging. <laughs> Dawn at the glitter pit dot com. And the at is the at sign. Okay. So email me here, Deborah, and give me your shipping address, your mailing address, not your email. I need your shipping address with the street you know, like a number street address so I can mail you these pearls. Okay. So yay, Deborah, your name's on the screen. Deborah, contact me there. The sooner, the better. I hold them for a couple weeks. And then after that, we will pay it forward. Also, you have to live in the United States to get the prizes. That's just Stampin' Up's policy. So if you don't live in the U.S., let me know right now on the live if you possibly could, and then we can pay it forward right now. Okay, so Deborah, you got the pearls. Now the sequins are going to go to... Oh, a sequins just came off. Hold on. Let me stick that back on there. All right, let me write on here. Sequins. All right, let's do it. Sequins are going to go to... Thank you for sharing. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up for today's live. Sharing is caring. <laughs> right? All right, here we go. This is going to Lynette. Lynette, have you won before? I don't know. G-A-N-Z-A-G-A-N. Lynette, you don't look familiar either. Are you brand new to the glitter pit? Welcome, everybody. We're so happy you're here. Lynette, you won the sequins. Once again, like Deborah, email me here. Dawn at the glitter pit dot com. Let's sing it together, everybody. Dawn at the glitter pit dot com. Email me here and give me your street address, and then I will send out the sequins for you, Lynette. Yay! Congratulations. Congratulations. You're getting four sheets of the sequins, which these are my favorite. These are retired. But these are like pool party. They're so pretty. All right, so four sheets of the sequins, Lynette. But let me know your address. All right, once again, you got to live in the United States to get the prizes. Okay. Lynette, you see your name on the screen. So let me know. You and Deborah have to contact me. And then Neralda, did you guys find out what Neralda said about what card she wants? Let me put this back up here. Norelda. What card does Norelda want? Let me scroll down here. Let me go down to the bottom. All right. Uh, did, did anybody see what Norelda said? What card she wanted? One, two, or three? I'm just all the way down. Oh, Neralda, you've never won. Or not Neralda, Lynette. Yay! Let me give you guys all an applause. Yay! Congratulations. Congratulations. Yay! I love first-time winners. Don't you guys? You're so welcome. All right. So, did Neralda say what card she Go away. Sorry. I'm just scrolling up. I thought she said Sharon is... No, sharing is caring. <laughs> but I wouldn't put it past me. I do have... I have been known to say some crazy things. 
Like, welcome to the Glitter Pit. Happy Thursday, and it's Wednesday. You guys know I go live on Wednesdays, right? 3 o'clock Eastern, right here in the Glitter Pit. Okay, I'm just scrolling back to see what card Norelda wants. One moment. I know they are so sparkly, aren't they? Oh, wait, Norelda. Card one, two, or three. All right, so... Sharon, oh, thank you, Sharon. One of my moderators is here. Thank you, Sharon. Yes, Norelda. Card one, two, or three. All right, so let me scroll all the way down to the bottom now again. Thank you, Sharon. Sending out, oh, three. Yeah, that's a great choice, Sharon, or Norelda. Thank you, everybody. So, Norelda wants card number three. Yay. Very, very good choice, I must say. The fun fold is so cute. All right, Norelda gets that card. And then my team are going to get those cards. So, everybody, thank you for understanding that I can't give those cards away today. I will get back to giving the cards away. All right, so here's my announcement. We have officially updated my emails. And I've heard from so, so many of you that have not been getting my blog feed. Now, mind you, I have had this feed blitz or feed burner on my website since I started my blog back in 2006. So, needless to say, it has stopped working. We still haven't figured out why. But I want to give you guys a heads up. There is a place now to sign up for my weekly Wednesday newsletter. These are two separate um, sign-ups, all right? So, I want to make sure that you guys understand which... Which one is doing what, all right? Because there's two separate things for two separate signups, all right? So the first sign-up, which looks like this. Here, let me show you what that looks like on my website first. Let me put this off of here. All right, so you're going to go to my website. You guys know my website, right? DawnStampingThoughts.net. This is my hub. This is where everything happens from my website. You can go to my online store, you can purchase from my shop, you can watch my videos, you can see my card classes, you can see everything and anything right here on my website. So it's dawnstampingthoughts.net. Go to my website, which is that right there, and you're going to see on the right-hand side on my website, you're going to see a picture of myself, right? Down below that one, you're going to see this sign-up sheet here. Let me see if I can find it. I think it's this one. Yes. This is my sign-up. It's not a very good picture, I'm sorry. But this is my sign-up for my newsletter. It's right below the picture, and you'll see the current monthly host code, which I took a picture of kind of like all of it right there. But right above my little banner there, that's the GPC, which is the Glitter Pit Crew. Right above that, you can see Sign Up. This is for my weekly newsletter, and it says it specifically in that box. This is going to sign you up for my weekly Wednesday newsletter that goes out on Wednesday at 2.30 in the afternoon Eastern Time. This newsletter will give you all the promotions. It will give you the bonus tutorial. It will give you the link to join us here in the Glitter Pit Live. It gives you a heads up that we're going live in a half an hour. Plus, it's giving you the PDF printable early before anybody else. Plus, you're getting to see the projects before anybody else that we're making. So this newsletter is jam-packed with a bunch of information that comes to your email box every Wednesday at 2.30. Okay? This is where you're going to sign up for that newsletter. Now, if you've already signed up for my weekly newsletter, you don't need to sign back up. Okay, because I'm still sending it to all the groups. Because there's like four groups that I'm sending to. This is for brand new people that are signing up and they haven't signed up yet. So it's really nice and easy. It's right along my right hand side on my website. And it says sign up. All right. Now, the next thing you want to sign up for is my blog feed. This is where I was saying that I've had Feed Blitz and Feed Burner since forever. That was like the only companies that they had back in the day. So when I updated my newsletter 
I updated this too. So along the same side, but you're gonna scroll down a little bit longer or a little bit further and you're gonna see this. And it's gonna, I can't quite remember what this says. Okay, get my, what does that say? New post in your inbox. This will give you my blog feed Whenever I post to my website, it will pop over to your email, all right? So sign up with your email. Make sure you're double-checking your email that you're signing up with. So, you know, if it's .com, make sure it's .com, C-O-M, not C-O-N, because I've been known to do that too. So just double-check your email address. And then whenever I make a blog post, like on my card classes, my glitter pit live, my card sketches, all those blog posts post will be sent to your email address that you sign up with. All right. And in the perfect world, this is supposedly going to be sent out within six hours after I post to my website. So when I post to my website at seven o'clock in the morning, you should arrive. You, this email should arrive in your email box around one o'clock, give or take, all right? And then also like the previous email, check your spam, your junk, and your promotions folder in your email box. So those are the two new updated email notifications that you book, that anybody can sign up for, okay? One's for the weekly newsletter on Wednesday that goes out on Tuesday, or sorry, on Wednesday at 2.30. And then the other one is for my blog feed. So if you want to stay up to date on when I'm posting to my website, this will shoot you out an email to your email that you sign up with to let you know that I made a blog post. Okay, please do that. I'm in, in contact with um, this new company that I'm using to get all the previous, oh my gosh, there's like 56 hundred of you that signed up for this service over the years and it's just like stopped so we're with the new provider now and I'm in the middle of trying to transfer this over to the new to the new server so just in case just go ahead and sign up for it and then you know hopefully when my web guy transfers everything over or when this company does it for me everything will be added in there all right any questions about that? Oh, wait. Norelda wants... Oh, she wants the purple card. All right, so somebody had said they wanted, she wanted the third card. Okay, so she wants the first card. All right. No problemo. You can get the first card, Norelda. You want this one then? You've got a friend in me? Very sweet. All of them are sweet card. You can't go wrong. You want this one instead, right? Thank you, Irene. Thank you, Miss Irene, my moderator. <laughs> she must have miss said that she wanted card number three, but they were in order. Let me show you again. We had card number one, two, and three. So she definitely wants card number one, right? All right. Thank you. You guys are funny. Dawn, Dawn, Dawn. Because you guys know how I am. She wants card number one. All right, we got it. Noralda, you can't change your mind anymore. <laughs> Here we go. She did say three and then changed it to one. All right, we got it. Oh my gosh, you almost made me choke on my water. Norelda, that's funny. She said, it's okay, everyone. <laughs> Norelda, I know how to contact you. If you needed to change it, you could just email me or message me or whatever. You know, I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. All right, so you'll get card number one, Norelda. No problemo. All right, so who's drinking black coffee with me? I had to give it up. I had to give up my iced coffee. I still make iced coffee with my black coffee. I know it sounds really weird, but I mix in my scoop of collagen and then my black coffee. I'll try to remember the name of my Nespresso. 
coffee that I use. It's an, it's an espresso, so it's a little bit stronger than, you know, a regular cup. But, oh my gosh, the key is to dilute it so it's not so strong. My husband even dilutes his coffee with water, you know. But in the past, I would dilute it with creamer because, you know, like I'd like some coffee with my creamer pretty much is how I used to drink it. But I can't drink the creamer. And I can't seem to drink the almond milk anymore either because my stomach, it like messes up my stomach so bad. Plus it's got carbs. So you guys know we're still doing the carnivore thing. Plus I'm doing the fasting. So I'm doing the OMAD now. So we've been doing that for going on 10 days now. So we're back to the one meal a day and doing the carnivore. Richard's actually making two roasts upstairs, which is awesome. Richard's also doing the OMAD with me too. So I'm so proud of him because you know what? It's not easy when you're a big guy and he's working all day, but we both are feeling amazing. So it's worth it in my opinion. But um, anyway, so I can't drink creamer anymore and I haven't really drank almond milk. I haven't really drank milk in like a long, long time. I gave up milk forever ago. But then I was trying to drink the almond milk and now I'm not able to do that anymore. So no more of that. And then after I dilute it with water, then I put ice in it. And it's so, so delicious. I love it. So. So anybody else drink black coffee out there? Sorry to hear about all the confusion. That's all right, Norelda. A woman has the prerogative to change her mind, right? Caramel vanilla creamer for me. No black coffee. You know what? Is Devet on here? When they come to the house, they bring all their special creamers, right? Devet likes, I think Devet likes Almond Joy or Snickers. Oh my God. It smells so good. I think I can just drink it like that. Oh, it's like, and then we make the big joke because it's like, um, hey, you want some coffee with your creamer? Because that's how it was with me. I mean, I would like... My most favorite is the Frappuccinos from Starbucks, but man, I gave those up when I had the septic shock and, you know, the diabetes and all that stuff. So I gave all that up, but, um, man, that's my favoritest iced coffee, but now I'm making my own. So, you know, when you don't have it for so long, you forget. Got to have my coffee. Yes. Milk messes with my stomach, but I've learned to like almond milk. No black coffee for me. <laughs> you know what? Richard has always drank black coffee. And he promised me, he said, you know, it's an acquired taste. You just got to get used to drinking it. So, and I was like willing to do it because I'm not drinking soda. I'm just pretty much drinking my, um, my mineral water and I'm drinking water and then I felt like you know drinking coffee would be nice I just couldn't bring myself to drink black coffee so after he said that he even pinky promised me that he, that I could do it and here I am I'm like a legit black coffee drinker I can't believe it I'll be sitting on the couch with them I'll be drinking I'm like I'll look over and I'll say honey can you believe I'm drinking this black coffee he's like no I can't believe it it is a miracle, but you know, it is an acquired taste. You just got to get used to doing it. It's just like anything. It's just creating a new habit, you know? I don't know, but I'm kind of digging it. Yummy, Devet. I know. So yeah, you remember Sharon. She came. So they have like, they have, I think they bring one for upstairs and one for downstairs. They bring like their own delight creamer. Oh, smells so good. And then Stacy, which one does Stacy like? Maybe Stacy likes the Almond Joy and Devet likes the Snickers. I don't know, but. <laughs> oh, the peppermint mocha. Oh, yeah, Devet, that's it. Okay, so who brought the Snickers? Was that Stacy? <laughs> I know, Devet, can you believe it? I'm drinking black coffee. I know. It is like, I, I just can't believe I'm even saying that with my name in front of it. Like, I'm drinking black coffee. I've never really been a tea person, but I'm never going to say never again because you never say never because it might happen. Okay. 
Julie drinks hers with Snickers. Yeah, that stuff is like good. But I don't know if there's like an oil or something that's in those creamers. Because I've, I've tried so many creamers. I've tried the Coffee Mate creamer. Just the plain old non, you know, like not necessarily a flavor. Just the plain old Coffee Mate. I can't do it. It tears up my stomach. And when I look at the ingredients, there's this oil that's in there. And that's probably, that's not like working with me, so... What brand or flavor are you brewing? I'm using, well, that's what I was saying. I don't know. It's like a C. C. I want a C I A N O, maybe. I don't know. It's just a little cup, but it's with the Nespresso. The Nespresso machine. Richard gets all our coffee, so that's my favorite. That was my favorite with the creamer. Now it's still my favorite without. So, yeah. So this is what I do. I brew it and it gives me like this much coffee in my little coffee cup. Then I stir it up, put my um, collagen in it. And then I put ice cubes and then I put water. And then I put it like in a bigger cup and then it's like awesome. It's like perfect. Really, really good. Love it. So that's all I do to it. I know, it's crazy. Oh, Irish cream. Ooh, that sounds good too. Oh, whipping cream. Yeah, there's no carbs in whipping cream, is there? Never thought of that. That's a good idea, Nancy. Yeah, a couple squirts of whipping cream. All right, so go sign up for my newsletter if you haven't already. If you guys didn't get the newsletter today, go sign up over there, all right? Super easy. You just got to, you know, sign up with your email and then also sign up for my blog feed. All right. Is it Joe? I think Joanne or Janet. I forget. Who was it that just recently said they weren't getting my two for Thursday? But we haven't done two for Thursday in like for a long time. But yes, go resubscribe over there. Oh, yeah. Happy Mail. I got two Happy Mails. Let me show you. They're really cute, too. Let me flip this over here. Oh, I've already got it flipped over. All right. This card is from Diana. Look how cute. Diana. Thank you, Joanne. This is from Diana. Thank you, Diana. She just signed up, and she's thanking me for the um, gold faceted adhesive back sequins. And for helping her sign up. So let me tell you, if you guys need help signing up, let me know. I'm your girl. Reach out. Signing up. This is what I'm talking about right here. Signing up. Still got a couple more weeks. And then this card is from... Look how cute that is. This is from Joanne. Joanne! I got your card. Look how cute. Isn't that adorable? This is from one of our card classes. Not this owl, not this design, but she used the card design. Isn't it cute? I love it. Happy Valentine's Day with the cute little owl. I love it. Those were my two happy meals. Yep, that was it. All right, so don't forget to email me Lynette and Deborah here at dawn at the glitter pit. .com. Let me give you guys my host codes again. Hold on, let me get those over here. Hold on. Let me... um. Let me pull this out over here. I don't want to put my head in the camera. Where's my host code at? Hold on. There they are. All right. This is my host code right here. Host code. This is for the card kit, what we just made. This is good starting today through Saturday at midnight. Okay. Any order of $40 or more, if you use this host code, you're going to get the card kit. Card kit number 20. And then if you don't want the card kit, and you still want a small gift, which will be sent out next month, use this host code. Remember, don't use any host code if your order is $150 or more, okay? Because you'll get your own stamp and rewards. So that's it. And all this information will be posted on my website, as well as the link down below in the description box. All this information is posted over there, as well as the link to the printable too, okay? 
Any questions before we sign off? Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you, everybody. All right. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Click the bell up in the top. You might want to refresh that if you haven't been notified of when I go live lately because when you click that bell up at the top right after you subscribe, click on the bell and then click that you want to be notified. And then it should send you a notification when I go live. And then come on early. If you guys want to join us in the, in the early bird glitter chat, you have to sign up for your YouTube channel and then log in and then you can come in early and chat with all of us. We talk about a bunch of stuff over there. I'm trying to think, was there anything else that I wanted to share with you guys? I think that was it. Was that it? I think so. All right, everybody. I'll see you guys next week. Same glitter time, same glitter station. Right here at 3 o'clock Eastern, we'll be here in the glitter pit. We'll have another card class number 21. If you guys have any suggestions from what we haven't done yet, let me know. I know we're going to do the motorcycle one soon. We're going to do that best day. And I want to do the rain or shine one too. And then the new bundle that's coming out. that um, The online exclusive, all right? So if you guys think of anything else, I think it's past Valentine's. So I can't really do that. I mean, I could do the, the love you much. I think it is. That bundle's really cute. But. Yeah, there's still a lot of goodies in there. All right. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. I love you guys. See you then. Bye.